Money, lesson one, identifying coins and their value. Today we are learning how to identify coins and their value. The first thing you should do is go watch this really awesome video by Rock and Learn. It's called Learn to Name and Count US Coins. It's about 13 minutes long and my students love it, so I think you will too. There's also this really great video made by The Mint that explains how coins are made. It's pretty fascinating. Penny. A penny is worth one cent. Here's the front of the penny and here's the back of the penny. Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States is on the penny. See, what do you guys think? Does it look like him? I think it's pretty close. And for those of you that haven't read about Abraham Lincoln, this is the house that he grew up in. The back of the penny pictures the Lincoln Memorial located in Washington, DC. See, here's the Lincoln Memorial right here. And there's a big statue of Abraham Lincoln sitting in the middle of the, of the Lincoln Memorial. Here's the statue up close. There are different designs for the back of the penny. Look for one cent. See, here it says one cent, and on this design where it has a shield, it also says one cent. Also keep in mind the color of the penny. It's different than the other coins. A penny is worth one cent. This is how you write one cent. It's a one and then a C with a line. This is another way to write one cent. So this is a dollar sign, and you see dollar signs either with one line down the middle or sometimes two lines down the middle. And the way that this is written, it means zero dollars, and then there's a decimal point right here which separates the dollars from the cents, and one cent. You know how we can write um, single digit numbers zero, one? Well, this is one cent, so zero dollars and one cent. Counting pennies. Counting pennies is the same as counting by ones. So you'd go one, and then you're adding one more. So one plus one is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here we have nine pennies, and they're worth one cent each, so we have nine cents. The total value of these pennies is nine cents. What do you think? Can you buy anything with nine cents? Mm, I haven't been able to. But my grandma said when she was little, she got to the, go to the movies for only five cents. It only cost her five cents to get in the movies when she was little. 100 pennies equals 100 cents. That's the same as $1. So you can trade 100 pennies for a $1 bill. That would definitely be a better choice for me because I would probably lose all these pennies or they'd fall out of my pocket and that would be a lot of counting. It's Sometimes it's just easier to have dollar bills. Nickel. A nickel is worth five cents. Here you see the front of the nickel and here you see the back of the nickel. Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States of America and author of the Declaration of Independence, is on the nickel. What do you guys think? Does that look like him? I think it's pretty close. And, you know, they all kind of had this long hair back then. On the back of the nickel is Monticello, or some people say Monticello, but it's an Italian word, so I'm going to say Monticello, Thomas Jefferson's home in Virginia. And actually, the, you can take a tour of this home. If you went to Virginia, you can tour this home. I'm gonna click on it and show you. I included a link. And here, you see, this is Monticello. And this is what is on the nickel. Isn't that fascinating? A nickel is worth five cents. Five cents. This is how you write five cents. Draw a five in the air, and then draw a C with a line through it. That says five, 
cents. This is another way to write five cents. Zero dollars, decimal point, zero, five, five cents. Counting nickels is the same as counting by fives. Five plus five is 10. So let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So these nickels have a total value of 45 cents. Can I buy anything with 45 cents? Hmm, I might be able to buy a couple of things, maybe, maybe a pack of gum. 20 nickels, let's, let's count by fives and find out how much 20 nickels equals. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So 20 nickels equals 100 cents or $1. 100 cents is the same as $1. So if I had 20 nickels, I could trade it for a $1 bill. A dime is worth 10 cents. Here's the front of a dime and here's the back of the dime. The 32nd president of the United States, Franklin D. Roosevelt, is on the dime. Does that look like his picture? It's pretty accurate, I think. On the back of the dime, you see a torch, which is a symbol of liberty or freedom, an olive branch right here, which is a symbol of peace, and the oak branch, see the little acorn? the oak branch, which is a symbol of strength and independence. A dime is worth 10 cents. This is how you write 10 cents. Draw it in the air, one, zero, and a C with a line through it, 10 cents. This is another way to write 10 cents. Dollar sign, zero dollars, decimal point to separate the coins, and 10 cents. Counting dimes is the same as counting by tens. Let's count by tens. 10 plus 10 would be 20. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So nine dimes has the total value of 90 cents. Let's see how much 10 times equals. 10 dimes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 cents or $1. So if you find 10 dimes, you can trade it in for a dollar bill. A quarter is worth 25 cents. Here's the front of the quarter and here's the back of the quarter. George Washington, the first president of the United States, is on the quarter. Here's another man with the long hair, and see it has his curl there. They captured that pretty well. So before 1999, the quarter featured an eagle with its wings spread out and standing on a bundle of arrows with two olive sprays underneath it. But the from 1999 to 2008, there was a 50 state quarters program. And so they made a bunch of different quarter designs. Currently, the Mint is releasing America the Beautiful Quarters. And in 2022, they're going to release the first five coins of the American Woman Quarters program. Here's some of the quarters from the 50 state program. I know you might be feeling a little bit lost right now, like with all of these different designs, how am I supposed to know what a quarter is or what coin it is? But although the back will be different, the front of the quarter will remain the same or almost the same. Look for standard inscriptions found on the quarter, like United States of America, Liberty, In God We Trust, 
quarter dollar. And it will still have George Washington's picture on the front. So get to know that this is Mr. George Washington right here. Same one that's right here. A quarter is worth 25 cents. This is how you write 25 cents. 25 cents. This is another way to write 25 cents. This is a dollar sign. So zero dollars and a decimal point to separate the change and 25 cents. Counting quarters. Counting quarters is the same as counting by 25s. 25, 50, 75, 100. So the total value of four quarters is 100 cents. Four quarters equals 100 cents or $1. So if you find four quarters, you can trade it in for a dollar bill. Why is it called a quarter dollar? When you quarter something, you cut it into four pieces. So a clock is quartered. So this clock shows 1115. It shows one quarter past 11. This cake is cut into quarters and there's one quarter missing and there's three quarters still available. A dollar is cut into four. So 25 cents plus 25 cents plus 25 cents plus 25 cents is 100 cents, which is $1. Now is probably a really good time to get up and move. I really love this Jack Hartman video to dance along to the song and learn the names and values of the coins. Heads or tails. The front of the coin, the part that shows a head, is called heads. The back of the coin is called tails. So you'll see that at every football game, they're gonna toss the coin and say heads or tails, and we'll see who the winner is. The person that guesses it correctly is the winner. Now comes the fun part. For this next activity, we are going to be comparing coins. If you have real coins at home, <clears throat> now is a good time to get them out so you can see them and feel them. You need at least one penny, one nickel, one dime, and one quarter. Let's compare coins. Look at the size of each coin. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Which coin is largest in size? Yes, the quarter is the largest in size. Which coin is smallest in size? Yes, the dime is the smallest in size, but not in value, right? Even though it's smallest in size, it's worth 10 pennies. It is worth two nickels. It is worth a lot, even though it is the smallest in size. Which coins are silver? The nickel, the dime, and the quarter. See how they all have that silver color? They're not made with real silver anymore. Which coin is not silver? The penny. The penny is a bronze copper color, and when it's really clean and shiny, it's a more of a copper color, but when it gets dark, when it gets dirty, it's more, people usually call it brown. Which coin has a US president facing right? The penny. Look at all of these presidents are facing left, but Mr. Lincoln is facing right. Can you find where the coin says how much it is worth? Good eye. It says one cent. What about on the nickel? Can you find it? Yes, it says five cents. 
The dime says one dime. So I hope you know how much one dime is worth. It would be helpful if it said 10 cents here. And the quarter says quarter dollar to remind you that 20, that it's 25 cents, that it's a quarter worth 25 cents. Let's compare. Feel the edges. Feel the edge of the penny. Feel the edge of the nickel. Feel the edge of the dime. Feel the edge of the quarter. What do you notice? What are some observations? Which coins have a smooth edge? Yes, the penny and the nickel both have smooth edges. Which coins have a bumpy edge? Or an edge with ridges? Yes, the dime and the quarter have ridges. See how they're not smooth? Now stack the coins. What do you notice? What are some observations you're making? What coin is on top? Why? The dime is on the top because it's the smallest in size. What coin is next? The penny. And what's gonna be next? And look at how much thicker the next coin is than the penny or the dime. The next coin is the nickel worth five cents. And the last coin with the rigid edges is the quarter because it's the biggest. Yay, let's review. How much is a nickel worth? Five cents, good job. If you didn't know, the answer was right here. It said five cents. What coin is this? Yeah, it's a penny, it's worth one cent. How much is a quarter worth? Well, it's tricky because the answer is not on there. How much is a quarter worth? 25 cents. What coin is this? It has bumpy edges, has the torch and the oak leaf and the olive branch. It's the dime worth 10 cents. See, it says dime right here. What coin is this? This one tricks a lot of people, but this one is the nickel. See the smooth edge? How much is a penny worth? Oh, the answer's right there, one cent. What coin is this? Remember Monticello, that beautiful house in Virginia? What coin is that on? That's on the nickel. That's worth five cents. What coin is this? Notice the rigid edges. This one is the dime worth 10 cents. What coin is this? This is the brown one or the copper bronze color one facing a different direction than everyone else. What do we call this one? This one is the penny worth one cent. What coin is this? This is the quarter worth 25 cents. See, it says quarter right there. How much is a dime worth? Who remembers how much is a dime worth? It's worth 10 cents. What coin is this? Hmm, okay, rigid edges, George Washington. It's the quarter worth 25 cents. All right, now you try. First, I want you to go ahead and try sorting the coins. And then I want you to take the little quiz and see if you can answer all those questions I just asked you. We'll see if you can remember all of those questions. All right, guys, I know you're gonna do amazing. You have a great day.